Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make it so that when you press a button, you can uh, hide your interface or bring it back up. And also, by when you're pressing this button here, it changes the text of the button itself. And so basically, all you need to do is so this interface, this uh, gray outline here with this other button inside here is its own separate uh, canvas and the hide GUI and the main menu button and this brown background is the is its own canvas as well it's under the map uh, canvas here and the user interface is this gray uh, outline here with the button and the text here so when you press that it hides it and then when you press it again, it brings it back up. So basically, here's the code for that. If you just want to copy and paste it, that's cool. I will be posting it on my blog as well. So if you want to just go to the link in the description and copy it from there, you're more than welcome to. So basically, I'll just be going over the code now here. Um, so what you want to first do is you're going to import... Uh, the Uzi, U, Unity Engine UI that allows for text data types. So using Unity Engine UI, you'll need to put that in first, and then you'll have to create a script. I'm assuming you know how to create scripts. I'm assuming also that you have a user interface, uh, some kind of interface, and a button and a background. Uh, I'm not going to be going over how to do that in this tutorial. Uh, this is just for people who are stuck on this part of when you press the button, it hides something, or uh, and also to change the text on the button there. So I won't be going over how to make that. Uh, I will show you guys though. So in the map uh, canvas here, which is where our button is, the hide GUI button, you do need to have a script holder. Uh, for that uh, script, um, which this script here, and so you'll attach the uh, remove GUI uh, script or whatever you call it to this script holder, and then in your button here, you're going to go down to on click, and you're going to add a new one here, and then you'll drag this script holder to this. A uh, little box down here and then you'll go to the function here select your class and then select your uh, function inside of that class here so I called mine GUI so that's what I selected and then so that's basically how you attach that script to the button uh, so anyway you'll just create a couple strings of what you want to have inside your button so I just created a string hide and a show here and a hide GUI and a show GUI uh, the slash n is just an escape character that creates a new line and then what I did is create a private integer of x because we don't want the values to be able to get changed and then I also created a game object uh, change GUI here uh, and so when the when you start the game we're going to set our x value equal to 0 and we're going to set our game object uh, game change GUI here equal to so we go game object dot find user interface which is this entire canvas here and it's going to go off of whatever you name it so if I called it peaches you would have to change this to peaches here so Anyway, uh, now onto the function here, the public void uh, GUI. Uh, what you want to do is you're going to create a little uh, if statement here. And so what you're doing is, so if x is equal to 0. So basically when you first start, you want the graphical user interface to be shown. And so after you press it, it's going to set it equal to false. And then you're also going to change the text here. So you do game object dot find the GUI button text, which is 
uh, in my map canvas here and it's right there that move uh, remove GUI button which is this button right here and we do a git component and then brackets text parentheses dot text and then we set that to our show string up here and then we set our x value equal to 1 so that when the graphical user interface is hidden uh, it'll skip this first if statement and go down to the else statement here and set it back equal to true which is what makes it visible and then we find our uh, button again and then we changed our text again to have it say hide, hide GUI so when we press it and now it's hidden now we let the user know that when we press this button it'll show the GUI and vice versa there and then we'll set our x value back to zero so that when we press the button again uh, it'll set it back to false so that is it for this tutorial um, if you guys need me to go over how to make buttons or different canvases um, just let me know all you do is you right click in your hierarchy here go to UI and then create another canvas and then I just changed the name to user interface like that and then you right click that you create a button in there right click go down to UI go to button and then I changed the name of that to oh, where was that oh no in map sorry uh, this new contact button is in my user interface canvas here so I changed that name to uh, what was that uh, remove uh, remove GUI is what I changed that button name to and then I added uh, uh, well the text comes with the button I renamed that text label there and then I also added the script holder in that too so and how you create the script holder is you right click go to uh, and then create an empty and then what you're going to do is you just rename it to script holder or whatever you want. And that'll be what you attach the script to, like that. And then you'll attach this, or you'll insert the script holder into the button hierarchy just for uh, uh, organizational purposes. And then you'll go down to the button, uh, add an on click function there. You'll drag the script holder into that, go down to remove GUI, and select your function there. So that's just, um, if you guys needed me to show you how to do that real quick, just wanted to show you. So if you have any other questions, just let me know, and I will be happy to answer them. And otherwise, I will be posting that this, co <clears throat> this code on my blog, and you guys will be able to just copy and paste it into your uh script here so anyways uh thanks for watching